so in love, girl. And this is true. Hi folks, and welcome to Open Analysis Live, or rather a Twitch clip from our Twitch stream. We're streaming Thursdays and Sundays. Go check us out if you like this kind of stuff. And also a reminder that we have over 200 hours of live stream recordings on our Patreon, as well as in-depth reverse engineering tutorials. If you like this kind of stuff, go check it out. Now let's get back to the clip. All right, I'll quit fucking around. I see you guys actually had some real questions. <laughs> Um, if you want to figure out how a malware family was maintained over time, where should be the main things you want to look into? Uh, hmm. I don't really know exactly what you mean there, uh, but I can take a guess at what you're talking about. Um, so basically you have a sample and you're looking for maybe older uh, samples that are the same, like the same malware family, but they're earlier versions. I think maybe that's what you're asking about. And then you want to reverse engineer those older ones and see what's changed. I mean, I think the, the process for that, yeah, get diff, <laughs> uh, it's sort of, sort of like that. So, um, yeah, so basically what you'd want to do if you want to track, uh, how a malware has evolved over time is you want to take a look at the, <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> it's, it's hard to think. Well, that's playing. <laughs> um, so anyway, so what you'd want to do is you'd want to basically write, uh, take a look at the malware and if you can't get, hey, what's going on Lars? If you can't get uh, more than one sample, so let's say you just have a recent sample, you've, re you've reverse engineered it. Um, probably what you want to do is you want to look at the sample and create a bunch of different YAR rules that won't match, um, that it will match the sample loosely. Um, we call these hunting rules. So they're not good for like identifying the malware. Like they have a high false positive rate is what I'm trying to say. So you create a bunch of hunting rules with high false positive root, uh, rates that are kind of like loose rules, things that match on different characteristics in the malware. So different functions that you think are probably pretty core to the malware. And then you, uh, then you would search with that. So you'd run some hunting uh, with whatever Yara scanning tools you have. Some people use VT, some people use reversing labs. Uh, some people have their own internal repositories. So you'd basically uh, run some hunting rules. And then once you have that collection of samples that your hunting rule has um, collected, you triage them quickly. So by that, I mean, just, you know, unpack them quickly using an automated uh, unpacking service like Unpack Me. Unpack Me. Expose the malware before it exposes you. And then, uh, and then take a look at the actual code and do a quick bin diff with your uh, with your sample that you've reversed and see whether it's in fact the actual malware you're looking for because there's going to be false positives. And then if it is, you can see in the bin diff what's changed over time. So that's kind of a that's kind of one way. I mean, that's the that's the basics of how you would try and track uh, malware changing over time. Obviously, depending on the sample uh, and the developers, things might change. So if they're using uh, a lot of, uh, I mean, obviously we talked about this in the last couple of streams. So if they're using like uh, template code where uh, the compiler can the compiler optimization can change the code significantly, that's gonna to prove to be a problem for you. And also if uh, they're using something like obfuscation or uh, you know anti reverse engineering techniques, um, that also might prove to be a problem for you. So you're gonna to have to use different techniques to, to overcome that. But in general, the whole process of tracking malware over time is pretty much that, right? So you get yourself some loose tracking rules, some hunting rules, you scan your your, your uh, sample repositories, um, then collect those samples. Use bin diff uh, or other diffing tools if you have more advanced capabilities to diff all the samples and see which ones, uh, you know, basically which ones are related to the family you're tracking. Uh, that's how I would do it. Uh, it's a it's a pretty open ended question. There's lots of different approaches, but that's uh, that's certainly how I would start to attempt uh, to do something like that. Uh, what else we got here? We got lots of stuff in the chat. Uh, you guys are chatty today. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a reminder that we are live on Thursdays and Sundays on Twitch. And if you like this kind of stuff, go check out our Patreon. We have lots more reverse engineering content, over 200 hours of live streams, as well as in-depth reverse engineering tutorials. All right, until next time, keep exposing the mechanics behind the malware. Stay curious.